Hello, hello, and welcome back to a new devlog for my indie base building resource gathering simulation planet game. <laughs> this keeps getting longer and longer. I worked on quite a few things last week. One of them being the super cool zoom effect when entering a world site. The tricky part was transitioning from a perspective camera to an orthographic one. I kind of faked it by using a perspective camera with an insanely low field of view, like 5 or 6, while positioning it really, really far away from the target. I think it already looks super cool, but I still need to redefine it so it doesn't feel so static at the end. Maybe with some twinning or something like that. And then I accidentally destroyed my entire world. But for a good reason. I reworked the world generation, so I can add liquids to it, like for example water to the grassland or lava to the hell side of the world or something like that. To achieve this, I first used Perlinize again, to create a tile map. But I used cubes. So for a grid size of 50, I have now 2500 game objects. And that's perfectly performant. But then I remembered that I'm a useless piece of shit that cancels all of his projects. But one project got an algorithm that can combine all these game objects. So I copied the mesh combine I made some years ago and adjusted it so that it worked perfectly with my current project. And it really did! But how exactly does it really work? Simply spoken, I create a parent game object for all same blocks. For example, all liquid blocks are under a parent game object and all solid blocks like the ground are under a parent game object. Then all children from each parent are getting analyzed so that their vertices borders are being recalculated and transformed into a single mesh. Ta-da! And now instead of 2500 game objects, I just have two, one for the solid blocks and one for the liquids. I then simply added these new world sites to the current world and it worked like a charm. Well, <laughs> okay, it didn't work out that good, but I kinda managed to fix it. It doesn't look perfect right now, but I think it's still a big win. Yeah, and that's it for last week's work on my game. If you liked the video, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you do not want to miss any further updates on this game. See you, bye bye.